Hey everybody, it's Whisker City Stitcher here and um, I'm back. I am doing a short video for a call to all arms. Help! I have a full stitch coverage I've been working on um, that I wasn't going to ever show until it was finished and the test was done and you know I, I could show it but I spoke to the designer and she said no worries and so I'm going to do some videos showing you guys the whole process but I am being crazy right now and I don't want to keep doing the one I'm doing it's been giving me a lot of grief I've been not stitching on it so I really want to do it differently. So I'm going to start it over. Uh, I'm going to show you the fabric I chose for it. Maybe you think I should use a different fabric. Let me know. Um, the I'm going to use all the DMC. Uh, it's full coverage, so it just needs DMC. But I can't decide if I want one thread, two threads, tent stitch, full cross, one over two, two over two. I, I can't I cannot make up my mind so I did a short video showing you what I was doing how I'm going about it first full coverage I've ever done made lots of mistakes on the first one um, and I think I'm gonna make a lot of mistakes on the second one too by the way that it's looking so I asked a few questions in this video please help me out and uh, let me know what you think we'll be doing another floss tube in a few days and I'm going to do another giveaway I have an exciting one um, it's a surprise, so I'm not going to give you any hints, but it's one that I, I am excited to gift to somebody. Um, anyway, let me know what you think. Leave a comment below. Um, and then I'll do another video in a day or so to see how, what kind of progress we made. Thanks guys. Thank the gods that I do not use the pattern keeper type stuff because if I knew how many actual stitches I put in this I might cry. Hi this is Beck from Clutterbugs. I have been talking to you guys about how I was making a test um, item for us for a, a, a new shop that's opening online. Um, I've been working on this one for quite a while now and little by little, I'm stopping working on it because I'm not liking it at all. Um, this is an 18 count Ada. It's all DMC. This is the first time I've ever um, tried my hand at a full coverage. Um, I've made lots of realizations with this. Um, this is with a two over one. I'm just going to start over. Clearly, I'm not going to go pull all this out. Um, I I don't know 100% yet what I'm doing. Notice I didn't make any grids. That's part of my problem, I think. Notice that I don't have any rhyme or reason. I don't know. You wouldn't even call this. There's no... There's partial parking. Those are just random threads thrown about. Um, there's randomness. Lots of randomness. What do you call this? Uh, cross country? I don't even know if that's what you could call that. Um, I got lost. I'm off. But man, it'll be so pretty when it's done. So I spoke to Amanda Haynes from... Um, Hey Lady Creations. She's online. She's got her website up and running and she's got tons of patterns. Um, as I'm stitching and making little videos here and there with this, I plan on showing my progress from start to finish since I am starting over and I'm crazy. Um, so I'll, I'll post about it, either pictures on Instagram or short videos on YouTube, um, you know, I might make a compilation of some videos. I just want to do it from start to finish, and I'll tell you all about Amanda and her project um, as I, I go along. Like, I might show you some of my stitching and 
how I'm coming to the conclusion that I need to start over. I just am not digging how this is looking. It's too puffy. The coverage is strange enough on its own because it's on a light colored fabric, but I've been looking up to see what everyone else does with their fabric choices and everyone, because it's full coverage, they use a lighter fabric, which is lovely because I, I want to be able to see what I'm doing as easily as possible. Um, yeah, so this was my attempt at trying to fix what I had going on here. Um, so I was literally just going 10, 20, 30, 40. Okay, then down 10, 20, 30, down this over. Okay, that's 32. Uh, let's go over to the chart. And, oh my God. And then I would get like three stitches done in 10 minutes. And I'm like, this is for the birds. I'm not doing it. So I feel like if I take it apart, I mean, I'm not taking that apart. If I, t if I start over and try my hand at a different, fabric so I'm going with like a 25 count um maybe it'll go smoother and quicker and still get coverage maybe not the other thing I think is my tension is too tight I think I pull too hard I need to remember to lay the stitches down not t you know my tent not tug so hard once I get to the end I kind of almost like snap it I should just lay it nicely down. Um, I'm always afraid that I'm going to have little puffs up around and they're going to be bad looking, but so is this. So anyway, okay, we're going to try our hand at greeting. I'm already screaming. Um, I got this pen. We're going to try this one. Washable fabric pen. Yeah. Washable fabric pen. I'm going to try it. Some of you are probably screaming right like, don't use that one. But I'm going to try it. It's full coverage, so we're not going to see the lines anyway. Right? Right. And not, uh, most of it's like a green, dark colors, browns, greens, black. So I don't think it'll show even if it doesn't come out. Um, I'm actually not going to try to wash it at all either, so. Um, yeah, so here we go. I'm going to, so they say start in the center. So I'll find my center. Uh, and then, you know, make a line and then count 10. Yeah, it might be a while. Next time you see this, there might be like an alcoholic beverage on the table. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I can't do that. I'm doing the keto. All right. Anyway. Let's see how it goes. Okay. Three hours later. I'm working on gridding this thing. I don't know any better way to do it than to count 10 across, 10 down, and dot them because I'm afraid to be one off. Like one little hole off, which I do often. I, would, I did it a couple times. You can see where it's you know, double marked. So all the upper ones, the ones that are a little higher up are the right one. Anyway, I decided to try to see what it, the stitches look like. Okay. I wanted to make my life easier by doing tent stitches. I don't, you can see through them quite a bit. Um, this is one, um, that one definitely isn't good. This is two strands. Um, this is two over two. Don't like it. And I think that's what I was doing before on the 18 count. Oh, uh, this one I ignored. I didn't, I did it down here instead. Uh, this is one full cross, oh, one over one. And this is two over one full cross. Okay, clearly that one gives you the most coverage. But I think it looks cockapoo. 
Like I, I rather see a little bit in the back. Now, mind you, this is going to be hanging on a wall, um, not under complete bright light. You know, it'll be on a wall. It'll be a big giant piece. So, you know, it, it'll be more uniform in my mind. That's what I like is the uniformity of it. I don't, this looks like a pile of poo to me. It looks like clumps uh, and it's, oh, it's thick. And that will be causing me more time and effort than what I was doing before. And this is a 25 pound. Um, so I don't know. What do you guys think? I, I can't decide. But I feel like I want to do this and see how it looks. So it would be two strands over one in a tent stitch. And it would, you know, be the whole, the whole thing. So that's that.